This is Atari Bot. Today we are going to be building a very high damage boost robot based on hovers. We're not going to throw a module or anything else in here. Um, the idea was I was going to use multiple uh, outer hovers at first, but as with all my videos, you can watch for all the changes. I do a few changes here and there as I go. But, um,. Try uh, Frommy's technique a little bit here of placing my movement parts first. But basically, um, you know, I want to show you guys, you know, my thinking behind, uh, you know, some of my build techniques and whatnot. But in this one, what we're doing is we're putting our high CPU parts on top. You know, the pieces that take that are going to take the brunt of damage, I want on the front and on top. You know, the the parts that have the most. Uh, health to them you know and this doesn't necessarily mean health cubes health cubes themselves you know are not high in health they are they just provide a health boost so what we want to do is the parts that can take more damage to be on the front and on top and then we're going to put our health cubes on along the bottom um, you know and, and load up our that way we get our little bit of health boost that way and um, I, uh, I did go through a few t uh, test phases with this throughout the build um, and I don't show all those because it's just an interest of time I, d I didn't want an hour long video so um, I'm gonna show uh, basically the match I do after I finish this build you know um, Put a little extra SMG lasers on here for redundance. And you'll notice that there's particular connection points here so that we could take damage from lasers and plasma and not have to worry too much. Maybe a little, a couple rail hits. Depending on this rail boost now, some of these guys are going out there, you know, and just taking a mega rail out there with one hover, you know, or something, you know, and. and those things can just about one or two shot anybody, you know. And there's not much you can do about those, really. Just try to stay away from them. That's that's all I can say for now. Um, this is without camera steer. This was the first thing I tried. Um, d don't be uh, confused by the fast movement there because I sped the video up. And again, in the interest of time, I didn't want a super long video. And if you guys are following along to build this, you could, you know still be able to follow this pause it wherever you need and whatnot um, but again I, I after trying it out in a, a quick battle I decided it needed a little bit more health you know just you know I want to be able to I want the damage boost but I do want it to be able to take a couple shots you know or take some you know some some shots you know and again I put my health cubes you know in the least likely place uh, which, if you're on camera steer, you know, you're going to be facing the enemy that's shooting at you, hopefully. And, um, therefore, you know, that, like the gun on the front of this thing is even considered, you can think of that first weapon as part of your shielding, you know. But it, if it's not, you know, it's that much more redundance, you know. But I, I like having, uh, I went back in here. You know, after trying it out and saying, you know, I could get a little more health cubes down inside of here, I figured. So I stuck some more health cubes in there. Oh, and I stuck a gun on the bottom here. And uh, we put uh, a couple of hovers in the back here. You don't have to worry so much about having the hovers on the outside as much as you used to. But the, because I didn't like the, uh, the front end was floating too high. You know, it's always about, you always just play around with your builds and, and, and make sure you do testing, you know. And don't take them as league and don't ever take a bot into league arena until you've really tested it well and you've gotten it figured out what you're going to do. 
Um, we've concealed the hovers on the inside here, and, and they're, it's actually pretty hard to uh, take out the hovers, you know, without shooting through a good portion of the, the robot, even though it's just one cube thick in the middle. Ideally, when you will build a, tank, a heavier, tankier hover, you know, for the core hovers, you might want to go three wide, two wide, maybe five wide. Depends on what, what exactly you're building. Also, with SMGs, you know, they they have such a long fire rate, in my opinion. You know, you could actually go more heavy. But, you know, in this build, I wanted to try to go with a little bit more damage boost. And that's really was my goal. And um, I didn't want to have to uh, do that with... Uh, I, I know the fad right now is to, to use rails, you know, but the SMGs are simple enough, you know, they don't target automatically like uh, Proto Seekers do, but you do get a good bit of damage, you get higher damage out of SMGs than you do Proto Seekers for one. And, you know, like I say, they, they could fire for days, it seems like, so, without running out of weapon energy, so they're, they're pretty much just point and shoot and don't have to worry about a whole lot. You're not going to run out of weapon energy or things like that. I put the um, the propeller on the back to give it a little bit more speed too, because it was just not moving the way as fast as the small bot should be moving, in my opinion. But uh, you know, the the propeller helped out a good bit. I tried it with thrusters. The thrusters were just not giving me the speed boost I was looking for. That um, single epic prop was seeming to do for me so um just stuck with the prop it worked it worked better that way um any side to side thrusters you know seemed unnecessary as well you know i don't like wasting cpu you know and hopefully i haven't done that here and you guys are going to see a little bit how this thing works I mean, it does it does do the damage it gets the damage boost is good but you don't it, it's not meant to be a super tanky build, you know, and, and people that say Triforcing doesn't exist, watch, you know, like I say, you, d you design your robot to take damage in certain ways in certain areas, and you'll be fine, you know, like I say, I don't know if this would hold up as well if it was snuck up from behind, surprisingly though, these propellers, you know, they, they hold up. And you can see that rail. He's a high power rail. Like I said, I, I was able to take a shot from him, but I couldn't, you know, I can't 1v1 the high power rail and another bot for sure. But I probably could have taken him out. I took, took either one of these guys out by themselves. It just didn't work out for me today. Not in that one anyway. Um, normally I speed up these little instances where I die and take off and all that I don't know what I'm typing here <laughs> but, oh yeah this is a four versus five match this is like um it just happened that way you know I wouldn't I wouldn't look at I was kind of disappointed at first you know but the other robots on the other team didn't seem that strong you know it seemed like this was a weak bot versus weak bot match but look at this for a thousand CPU, look at all the damage I'm taking. I'm down to 36% here, and I'm still moving around freely. Although I've got no weapons at this point. And I'm not going to live for long like that. And I duck back behind this thing here. If, if, and that's one thing, too, about the uh, propellers, is they're bi-directional. So they'll let you back up as well. Whereas thrusters, you have to put thrusters facing backwards and thrusters facing forwards if you want to have that, that bi-directional movement, you know. Propellers still offer that, that bi-directional movement, and, that, and you don't need to spam them. You know, I'm okay with just one propeller. I don't want a high profile either. I want to be a difficult target. I want to be a little dot. I want to be as small a target as I can possibly be, so that, you know, shots go by and miss. I'm taking all kinds of fire here. Look at that. I, I am impressed with, for the size of it, you know how this build came out but you know like I say pay attention to you know what what's being connected and where I connected things during the build you know I put like I said I put the tankier parts on the front and on top and I you know a little thicker in the front you know and I made it so that you know all my weapons can I always got four guns pointing somewhere I can lose one or two and I'll be okay you know I want to be able to you always you want to have four guns at all times because you want that fire rate you know, 
That fire rate's helpful. And when you get down to one gun, it's you know what it's like. Pew. Wait. Pew. Wait. Pew. <laughs> but you know, that's how it is. Look at this. See, I've done tucking off all his guns, and all he can do now is run. Now I'm healed up. And that's the thing key with SMGs is that you're able to do that. You can take off all their guns and then finish them off. Or you could take off a ro like a, a mech's legs or a sprinter's legs. And that way they can't walk around. They're just a still target. And ideally you don't want to be staying still like I'm doing right here. You want to move. You want to constantly be on the move. Side to side or something. I was not moving around much. But look how low his health was. I almost had him. It doesn't look like. You know, he doesn't look that tanky. Like I said, none of these brought on the other team. Really. Nobody, nobody in this entire match looked entirely tanky to me. It was an interesting match. And though this, you know, like I say, this bot, you might. Well, I'll, t I'll tell you about it towards it, you know, when the match is over here. But. I'm always going to go for my cap and get my cap, you know. But ideally, this is not really a capping robot. You know, it can, but it's just uh, capping robots need to be able to take a little damage because they don't want to move off the cap. And see, this is an example too where SMGs took off somebody's legs. Now he can't do nothing, and now all he has is these. Stupid Aeroflat guns that don't do crap to a hover. Alright. Now I'm going to go up here and finish off the crystal. So now they're going to panic. And I'm healing. They should have stopped my heals. Uh, he finally did. But not in time. And again, I'm going to take off all his guns. This, this wasn't supposed to be a lesson on how to play arena. But, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Oh, that sniper. Like I said, the snipers are going to get you. You know, if you're in a low CPU, high damage bot, you know, and versus a high damage sniper, you know, snipers are going to get you. And that's that's the case with just about, you know, any build like that, you know. But um, I was pretty happy with this build. Like I said, you guys could do, you know, do a little different with it. You know, it's just supposed to just be basics, you know, and it kind of goes harkens back to uh, Robocraft of old, where you you hide your hovers. And the reason we did that on this, you know, uh, is that I used the real small hovers. And the reason I used the small hovers is because I could I could make this a smaller target that way. I can get everything a little more compact. I don't know why he keeps thinking Aeroflax is going to do something to him. That lag. Anyway, we were trying to t I was trying to take off that top gun. I couldn't get it. He got me. Another reason for uh, putting those health cubes on the bottom like I did was uh, weight reasons. You know, the other cubes are much lighter. So, you know, heavier cubes um, on being on the bottom. I don't know if it helps that much, but it seems to help stabilize so that you're not just swaying and bouncing all over the place. It's, it keeps the bottom on the bottom and top on top by putting lo the lighter stuff on top. And then the uh, rods not only take up take a little more damage, but you know they're lighter as well. And, and anything light helps with speed and damage mitigation as well. I mean, they're worth the health of three regular cubes. Not all that, you know. <laughs> but it might have been better to uh, put the TX cubes all the way across the top. You know, to be honest. But you guys, I know, you're going to build off the build video. So, I mean, if you want, if you have to buy this, fine. I named it Chomper because I gave it a... Uh, a little mouth with teeth and it reminded me of the Super Mario Brothers chomper if you know who I'm talking about or what I'm talking about and um, yeah that's the history behind the name of this bot but anyway 
I thought it did good too as far as damage. I wanted it to be a, a high DPS robot, you know, that wasn't a sniper. I, I like snipers and all. I'm just not the best at playing snipers. I should be really good at playing snipers. I won't explain why, but it just I'm not though. I just don't get into them as much. I want to, you know, I want to waste ammo. <laughs> I like using a little suppression fire, you know. Suppression fire is where you, you're not really necessarily hitting the robot, but you might be holding them back or preventing them from wanting to, you're scaring them off a little bit, you know. Um, which I don't do a whole lot of that here. I'm actually trying to fight these guys, but I've got that high power sniper and this guy on me now. And, like I say, it takes the damage well for a, a bot that's about a thousand CPU, you know. I should, you know, they should have already taken me out already. You know, but, like I say, there are like three distinct lines throughout the middle of this robot, and that's why it held together like it does, no matter where it gets hit from, really. You know, and that's kind of an ideal that you want to think about as well, is that, you know, can I take damage? What, in what ways am I going to take damage? Like for this, you know, I said it on camera steer. That ideally, I wanted to take damage from the front. You know, but it doesn't always work that way. So you know, spread it out a little bit. But you can see those back covers; they don't instantly blow away either, even though they're exposed. You know, they're on the back. You know, I figure that being on the back, they don't get hit as easily as being on the fr out exposed on the front and sometimes it helps to to release and then uh, let your reticles come in I should have been doing that there but I didn't but especially when you're going to be like constantly firing for a little bit they were so focused on destroying that core I was just going to go over here and cap so that when they did it didn't seem like we were going to stop that from happening. And I remember, hey, that guy went over there to heal. But timing-wise, he would have... I knew I was going to be facing like a full health robot. Or I expected to, anyway. And he was. But then I take him right back down. <laughs> that had to make him mad. You have to admit, sometimes you enjoy making the other guy mad. It's, it's got to make them angry. I decided to let that one go and just sit here. And, oh, no, wait. I didn't. Because he couldn't make it into his shield. I left him with one wheel. Fun bot. And like I said, not bad for a four versus five match. Annihilator fully charged. Firing now let's see who has top score here. Two, and the whole match was four deuces. It's not like we lost the fifth guy somewhere in the middle. We lost him at the get-go. Right at the beginning. Which I really hate that. I don't like it when anybody gets disconnected. I really hope they hurry up on this reconnect button they keep talking about. Look at that, top score, top objectives, not quite top damage, the other team got top damage. That's all good though. I don't know, third place in kills. I did die a lot though, <laughs> but it is all good. So but like I said, not a bad bot, you know, and it's something easy you guys can build your, yourselves. Um, little redundancy, good bit of da weapon damage, moves around easily. Might be able to climb some semi steep hills, but not, um, it won't go vertically up, you know, it's with any hover. But they, it will go up some, some somewhat steep hills. But there it is, Chomper. I did stick it in the CRF if you, if you would rather buy it, but I don't need the sale, so if you just go there to look, you know, that's fine too. I don't really care if you buy anything from me. I don't need sales, I don't need anything. I'm not trying to promote my bots anymore. 
I'm trying to promote other people's bots. So if you have a bot you'd like me to check out, leave it in the comments below. Make sure to include your in-game name as well as the robot name because sometimes I have difficulty finding one or the other. And having both just helps out to find those. And I will look at it. Um, I look at almost, almost every bot that people suggest. I don't want to say every bot because I'm sure I, probably, I may have missed somebody. Um, but I don't necessarily upload it in a video. Um, if I if I have problems with your bot and it ends up um, looking bad in a match or something, I'm not going to upload and rag on your bot. You know, I'm not mean like that. But if I come across a bot that's really good, like uh, that robot in my last, uh, well, like, let's see what it was, uh, K300 Deathhead by Deathotron, that last league arena match, you know, I've used him a couple, more than a, few, more than a couple times, really. Um, it's a pretty good bot, you know, and um, and I hope to see him do some more builds in the future like that. That was, you know, not entirely original. Everybody's got drones out there, you know, that do this and that, but but pretty good. And he, and he, I think he claims to be one of the earliest ones to do that. I do like the effect of having teeth and then eyes. Yeah, eyes and teeth, guys. Thought about maybe putting little thrusters there, but eh, I don't know. I don't care if you subscribe, really. There's some other videos you can click on, though, if you want. But uh, thanks for watching the video. I don't know what else to say. Take care. Bye.